In today's episode, you will learn how to wirelessly monitor the heartbeat rate or heartbeats per minute using the pulse sensor Arduino, a 16 into 2 LCD and HC05 or HC06 Bluetooth module. This is version 2 of the heartbeats monitoring system. While in version 1 of the heartbeats monitoring system, I explained how you can get the stable BPM values, in which I practically demonstrated how the BPM values changes when we start breathing fast and slow. In version 1 of the heartbeats monitoring system, I also explained under what circumstances you get unstable values. So for the best understanding, I recommend first you should watch version 1 in which I explained the extreme basics and then you can resume from here. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the pulse sensor which is also known as the heart rate monitoring sensor. This sensor module is provided with the transmitter and receiver LEDs. The light absorbing property of the hemoglobin is used in the measurement of heart rate. Light from a green LED on the underside of the monitor is shown on blood vessels just under the skin. The light that is not absorbed but reflected back is captured by a photo detector. The photo detector produces an electrical signal when light strikes it. This analog signal is converted into a digital signal. And slight changes of this signal are used to measure the heart rate. As you can see, this pulse sensor has three male headers, which are labeled with S, plus, and minus. S is the signal pin and will be connected with the analog pin of the Arduino. Plus pin, which is the middle pin, is the VCC pin, and this pin will be connected with the Arduino's 3.3 or 5 volts. While the minus pin is the ground pin, and this pin will be connected with the Arduino's ground. HC05 Bluetooth module plus 5 volt or VCC pin is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The ground of the Bluetooth module is connected with the Arduino's ground. Connect RX of the Bluetooth module with pin number 1 of the Arduino and connect the TX of the Bluetooth module with pin number 0 of the Arduino. As you can see, the ground is connected with pin number 1, 5 and pin number 16. 5 volt from the Arduino is connected with pin number 2 and pin number 15. The middle pin of the variable resistor or potentiometer is connected with pin number 3 of the LCD. While the other two pins are connected with the ground and 5 volts. Pins 4 to 7 of the Arduino are connected with pins D7 to D4 of the LCD. Pin number 8 of the Arduino is connected with the enable pin of the LCD. Pin number 9 of the Arduino is connected with the RS pin of the LCD. The VCC pin of the pulse sensor is connected with the 5 volts. But you can also connect this with 3.3 volts. The S pin of the pulse sensor is connected with the analog pin S0 and the ground pin of the pulse sensor is connected with the Arduino's ground. Now let's discuss the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download a library for the pulse sensor.
this is the same exact program which I have already explained in version 1 of the Heartbeats monitoring system. I didn't even change a single instruction. The modification is only on the hardware side. As you can see in the programming, I'm sending the text and values to the Bluetooth module using the serial communication. So this time I'm using the Arduino's default serial port for the communication with the Bluetooth module. If you don't want to use the Arduino's default serial port, then you can use the software serial library to create another port. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to create the multiple serial ports using the software serial library. I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. The circuit diagram, Android cell phone application and Arduino programming can be downloaded from my website. The link is given in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. All the components are interfaced as per the circuit diagram. The Bluetooth module TX and RX pins are connected with pin 0 and pin 1 of the Arduino while the 5 volt and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.